as you guys know, we are currently in the team of the season warm up series, and it is basically the preparation period for us before team of the season kicks off this Friday at 6 p.m. UK time. And today we are going to be covering my Eredivisie team of the season predictions. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the like. If you are enjoying this content for team of the season, we're going to be pumping out lots more videos very, very shortly. But if you haven't already, check out my warm-up series explanation what we can be expecting until the end of this week more content will be coming but yeah here are the leak dates i already went through these in my other video make sure you check that out for some extra predictions on these specific ones but yeah these are the dates and as you can see 28th is going to be community and area divise i've already made my community team of the season predictions if you want to check those out they're on the channel from a week or two ago but yeah, today we're going to be focusing on the Eredivisie. So, the Eredivisie is the secondary league, obviously, compared to the community. More people want the community team of the season players. But, the Eredivisie has some good gems in there. Very, very good players are in here. Gravenberch last year was literally over a million coins when he came out. Obviously, he's no longer in the um, Eredivisie. Neither is Haller, Anthony, Gakpo, Sinistera. All these guys have moved on. Maserawi as well. So yeah, a few crap players aren't going to be in it, which is a shame, but I think Timber could be getting in. Sangare, Coach, I don't know how to say his name. Koku, I think, he, I don't know how to say it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but he's a great player. So yeah, this is obviously the dates for last year. These were the 29th. Both of them were the same, but it looks like this is going to be staying the same. It's going to be Community and Eredivisie, but it's going to be this Friday, which is not on the 29th. It is on the 28th, so a day behind that but yeah let's get into the predictions so the first player is uh javi siemens now he has been incredible for psv i don't i don't watch the area of his but i've seen every week he's been banging in goals he's got a good amount of performance based cards and his stats are just ridiculous i think it's like 28 goals and assists or something which is mental he's having a revival period he's still so young so i don't know why people wrote him off but obviously barcelona academy psg at young age you're gonna have the pressure but he has shown why he is a quality player this season and i think he may be the highlight player like we had graven birch last year i think javi simons will be the highlight player or one of so 94 rated could be happening what a card that will be that will be expensive when it comes out for sure obviously when the weeks and months go on he'll die in price because the game there'll be loads of players like this but this will be one of the like freshest cards we've seen this year because look at those stats like i know it may not be as good because i always like to predict better than what they could be but hopefully he'll get a card like that now coach you cooked you Koku, I don't know how to say his name, all right, guys. Do not get at me in the comments, but I know he is an absolute baller. He has been incredible for Feyenoord this season. Brilliant player, very, very versatile as well. Not just in FIFA, in real life. I've seen some clips of him, but yeah, I think this card is warranted. What a box to box he will be if he comes out looking like this, but yeah, I think he's definitely deserved. His links aren't the best, but he is going to be good, I think. Tadic always gets a card, and this year he's been phenomenal. I think he's got like 10 goals and 20 assists or something ridiculous like that. So he's been great. 30 goals and assists I think he's got. If Correct me if I'm wrong, but I looked that up, I think. But yeah, that is going to be obviously a cheap card because Tadic is never that good in FIFA. Like The stats would be good, but I don't think he'll be good in game like his other cards. So I don't think he'll be too expensive. Like In comparison to Javi Simons, he won't be anywhere near, I don't think. But stat-wise, he could have high-rated stats like this. Maybe a bit less, but I think he deserves a 93-rated card. Next is Kudus. Now, he is an absolute baller. I love this guy. He is so good. Uh, very, very talented young player. He's very good for Ajax, and I think this card is defo warranted. He's had a great season for Ajax. And yeah, I think 98 pace with that dribbling, it will be very good. Obviously, his shooting's a bit lower than other attackers in the game, but the pace will make up for it. Let's see if EA boosts the weak foot on him as well to make him more usable. Obviously, links-wise, Ajax are linkable with all these other team of the seasons and high-rated cards. But Ghanaians, there's not that many of them. So, I don't think he'll be too expensive. Neither will Berghaus, but he's always very good. And he has been great for Ajax this season. Very solid player. I think, looking back now, I don't think the stats will be this good. But hopefully they are, because the power curve this year has been a lot 
a higher standard than compared to other years. So I think they need to boost these cards to make them usable and to make people want to play with them. So yeah, Berghaus should be getting in. Timber would be a great card to come out. Everyone loves his future stars. He is extremely meta. 90 pace centre back will automatically get people interested with the rest of the stats as well. He'll be one of the top centre backs in the game probably. Maybe not one of the best compared to like, I don't know, Maldini for birthday or something, but he'll be a lot cheaper and he'll be very good. So I hope he gets in. Sangare is very slept on. I remember last year his card was very good as well. I played with him a few times, but obviously links-wise, he doesn't really link to anyone. But if you want to use this Xavi Siemens, he is a great link to him. So hopefully he comes out. He's been superb for PSV as well. And yeah, I think he should be getting in. And this guy, Gertruda, I think that's how you say his name. He's in the community vote, so he could get in the community team of the season. But if he doesn't, he should be getting in the main, in my opinion. And what a card this is. I think he can play centre-back as well as an alternate. So imagine a 91 pace centre-back. That would be ridiculous. But yeah, Feyenoord links obviously aren't the greatest, but he would link to Kochu, uh if he gets that card. But yeah, that is going to be a great item in this Eredivisie team of the season if he does come out. And yeah... Make sure, if you haven't already, check out my Team of the Week predictions. That's going to be released this Wednesday. But, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, hit the like, subscribe if you are new to the channel. Let me know if I missed anyone down below. I only really, for these lower league team of the seasons, I only include the players that are going to be good. Like, I've left out the keepers and maybe other players that aren't going to be that high rated because these are the ones that everyone's going to want in their player picks, you know. These are the high rated ones that everyone wants to pack and are going to be interested in. So, yeah, that's why I maybe left out a few players. I don't watch the Eredivisie either. But if you did enjoy, hit the like, subscribe, and it's Beef Master, and I'm out. Peace out, guys. Take care.